G'day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Manor Lords. I'm just overlooking our lovely little province of Strop here. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at that big red number up the top there. You know, the one that says that we have no food still. I'm hoping that this will change. I'm hoping that this will change. Um, normally, I've found that uh, by having hunter's huts in here, um, that everything's uh, that everything's usually perfectly fine. Now, we've got two people working on the hunter's hut there. So, got one person working in the granary and moving stuff around. And we've got one lot of people working in the foresters, uh, in the foraging hut as well. So, interestingly enough, it doesn't seem to be panning out for us. How are we going down here? Are we producing bread? We are producing bread. Indeed, we are. Um, uh, yes, very, very, big, very, very big thing here is uh, doing this. This has been set to the highest priority, and we do need to get a pile of people into that third farmhouse as well to be able to work on our fields and stuff. But uh, for now, we're kind of a little bit stuck, aren't we? We are a little bit stuck, but uh, hopefully we're going to start getting some food transferred. And it's uh, unassigned families for construction work. I know. I know that. Um, here. I want to add a mule, most definitely. And I want to see where these people are. They're moving across here, so they are on their way now. They're on their way over to Strop now. Uh, which means that they're going to be delivering some food. They're definitely going to be delivering some food, and they're going to be bringing some other stuff back, which is really good. What about the ones over here that are doing it? You guys are doing Hogan. Uh, you are doing Strop. Whereabouts are... Let's throw one in there. Whereabouts are you guys? Well, there's one over here. Is he delivering food or is he on his way back? Because we gave him a shortcut through there. He's on his way back. So it looks like he has delivered some food. So we're starting to get some of those things moving uh, backwards and forwards as well, which is going to be a really good thing. We've got zero dollars out here and we're not getting any further population purely because we've got... What's, we shouldn't have homelessness. We should definitely not have homelessness in here. So I don't know why we do. Maybe it's a carryover from last year. Yeah, previous, recent 30 days, none. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that we'll get up over 50% so we can get a family into this burgage plot here. Start working there, which would be fantastic. So... Uh, still a lot of stuff to balance. Still a lot of stuff to balance. Uh, what have we done there? We're doing barley in there this year. Uh, we are doing wheat in there. No, we're probably not doing wheat in there, I don't think. Uh, barley or wheat? Wheat would probably be a good idea. Let's throw wheat down as well, I think, in there. Uh, we're still... Uh, we're doing barley in there. We're doing wheat in there. Wheat is not a good thing in there. I think uh, barley is going to go into that field. Uh, barley's at 87%. That's good for there. Um, we're going to go wheat in there as well. Uh, over here, wheat 100%. Over here, wheat 91%. But we do need to consider uh, wheat 57%. Let's go barley in there. Uh, we're going barley in there, I think. And we're going to stick with wheat there. And we're going to probably go... I think we might do some flax in there. Uh, these fields here, that's going to be flax. And... Oh, there was a save. That's what it was. And this field over here is going to be flax as well. All right, lovely. What are we going to build in here? We're not going to put wheat in there. I think we're going to put uh, probably some flax in there. 
And we're probably going to put some wheat in there, I think. Uh, these fields haven't been uh, harvested yet. But they will be. They will be, hopefully, before the end of... Uh, before the end of September. Or before the end of the November. Before the end of September. We've got plenty of people working in here. Uh, that still hasn't been done. We've got, despite the fact that we've got three builders there, that still hasn't been done. So we're also going to need to start increasing our population here. We've got nine months worth of food. That's not too bad. We have drawn people out of these areas, of uh, out of these workplaces. Um, not all of them, per se, but uh, we've definitely drawn everybody out of these. We've still got only one family sitting in there, so we're definitely going to have to increase our population as well. I'm hoping that this will get built very, very quickly. It's been under construction for a considerable amount of time, a considerable amount of time, despite the fact that it's also been a priority. Work area is empty. Great, that's over in Hogan. We've got no more food coming in through there. We can probably... Uh, well, we've only got one family in the forager hut, so I'm not going to remove them. I'm not going to remove them at all. Um, it's a matter of getting all of this done, isn't it? Got to get all of this done before the end of winter. Which means we desperately, desperately, desperately need... Yeah, wheat and wheat. We desperately need... Um, this to be built how are we going to do that got other stuff here that's been paused that's been paused you guys don't have anything in there at the moment why don't you have anything in there because you guys don't have anything stored in there because we're not threshing we are not threshing we've got 208 wheat stored in there and we've got uh 70 wheat stored in there, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, he's starting to plow now, which will be okay. So definitely definitely a family issue there. Over in Vegemite, what's going on over in Vegemite? Well, not a lot because we're actually holding off on, uh, on actually bringing any more people into these areas So uh, at this point in time. Got two families waiting in there. What do we have resource-wise? Well, we've got uh, we've only got three months worth of food. Big issue, big issue. We've got no bread. We've got no eggs. None of that. We've got plenty of fuel. Uh, we've got plenty of planks and stuff like that. So we may need to start looking at uh, distributing some planks or selling off some planks. Our granary here has plenty of space in it. There. Our uh, large storehouse here is nearly full. <coughs> it's nearly full of um, a lot of stuff, actually, isn't it? Uh, we've got another granary out here, don't we? Which is uh, which is really, really uh, struggling there as well to fill it up. Still don't understand what's happening with the sheep, though. I still don't know I understand what's happening with the sheep. With the new update that's coming out, although I do believe that this, um, I do believe that this particular um, uh, save file is probably not going to work. Um, however, I feel like you go, well, in the new update, you're going to be able to actually slaughter your sheep. And uh, you, they're also bringing cows in as well. Um, so that's going to be a good thing. That's definitely going to be a good thing. I'm selling my uh, I'm selling my sheep off. I'm maintaining 25 excess sheep. But for some reason they don't seem to be... Um, they definitely don't seem to be growing as quickly as or, or producing as quickly as what I thought they would. I know a lot of people that I've seen playing it are getting a massive excess of sheep, which is uh, which is you know um, 
In fact, the excess of sheep is causing a little bit of a problem, so I don't know. Okay, uh, Bloomery's over there. They're working away. I'm getting stuff transferred from there. You're okay at the moment. Uh, in fact, how are we going field-wise? We're getting there. We're into October now. All of our fields have been harvested. Um... We're going to put wheat in there and we're going to put wheat in there as well because I want food. So everything's been harvested. Everything is set up for, for what we were putting in. Uh, we probably want to put, um, we could probably put a little bit of flax in there. Uh, but everything else is, let's maybe go barley in there because we don't have enough barley. Okay, everything else is sort of set up there. What we need is for this thing, which is nearly built now. That's going to be fantastic. If we can get that built really, really quickly, that's going to be a big thing. That's going to be a very big thing. Uh, over here, we now have food. So the food has started to come through from those trading resources. That is brilliant. I am super happy about that. That is really, really good. Um, which is going to help us out a lot in here, I think. Certainly going to improve uh, a lot of happiness and stuff like that as well. Um, okay, as long as we can maintain that, because we are going into winter. We are going into winter. We've got berries and we've got meat. Why are... Um, let's not... Let's make sure in the uh, in the trade area under food, we want to maintain 200 meat. All right, cool, cool. Okay. What's going on? All these people are waiting at the trading post for this old lady to hobble out. That's a crack up. That's hilarious. <laughs> Looks like this looks like this little pack station worker is getting a little bit stuck. Okay, so we've got more food coming in. Beautiful. Hogan, the farmhouse has been constructed. So what we need to do now is pause the game. We need to figure out where we're going to start taking people from. Let's uh What have we got resource-wise, iron ore-wise? We've only got 12. But lots of leather and lots of hides. Got lots of clay sitting in there. Do I have a clay building out here? I think I had a clay mining pit out here somewhere, didn't I? Or maybe we've just uh, maybe we've just got an excess. Okay, so firewood wise, we've got plenty of firewood. Let's uh, take you out of there. Um, got nobody in the trading post. Oh, because I took people out of the trading post, didn't I? We've got people in that trading post. Uh, they're doing our trading for us, which is fine. Uh, we don't want anybody out of the pack station. Uh, where can we take people from? Can we take uh, two families out of there for now? Yes, we probably can. That would be a start. Uh, get extra families into here. In fact, let's get six families in there. That'll be a good start. Let's get six families into there. And we'll see if there's anywhere that we can actually remove people from. We could possibly remove people from here at the moment. Uh, because we don't have any threshing happening. Uh, we could possibly move a person from there as well because we don't have any grain. And we can throw another two people in there and leave somebody building. So that's going to bring everything up there. The other thing that we want to do is we want to go in here. We don't have any livestock, so... Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to... Hopefully, we'll be able to get everything sown before the end of winter. 
uh, or before uh, before the uh, before the end of autumn, and get all of that uh, all of that food happening. Uh, over here, we still uh, we're still sitting at uh, six months worth of food. That is really good. That is absolutely brilliant. There we go. There's the birds flying along. Hello, Betty. Odin. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. I think that's okay. I think we might end up being able to get another person here. We might be able to get another person here. No population growth because everything is low. So, because we do need to be over 50%. We do need to be over 50%. And I feel like we're going to be. But we didn't change over at the end of, uh, at the end of uh, September. Or did we? I don't know. We're also just about to get our taxes up to where we need it as well. Which again is a really, really good thing, I think. How are we doing for firewood here? We're doing all right for firewood. We're 13 months worth of fuel, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, perfect, perfect. Well, not really so perfect, but um, reasonable. Reasonable. Extra families in here getting all of this work done. Everybody's uh, gathering over here and moving stuff. What are they doing? What are they actually doing? It's a mass migration of farming peasants. Oh, they're all, they've gone down there to be going to pick up this stuff as well. We can get some threshing done in here as well. We've got quite a bit of stuff in storage, which is absolutely brilliant. Logistics are becoming a thing now. Logistics are definitely becoming a thing. Um, field priority. I'm going low on the uh, on the old flax for the field priorities. Uh, because I need the other stuff done. Which is why I'm going high on barley fields and, uh, and all that stuff as well. The wheat fields, that's that field up there, isn't it? Put that on high priority. Uh, we'll make sure you're on high priority. Leave you on... I think flax can be done last. We'll leave you on medium priority. We'll throw you on high priority. We'll throw you on high priority. Put you on high priority as well. We need to get that... Uh, we need to get that food in. And, and the beer, obviously. Now we'll put you on low priority as well. And get everybody working on everything else. Looks like the uh, conglomerate has... Uh, started moving everything else into the farmhouse look at that got quite a bit of uh, of wheat now i think that's going to fix us for the next year we've still got a lot of wheat sitting in in here we've got uh, 146 that needs to needs to go into storage as well so there we go but we've got our uh, three farm our three farms absolutely full have a squeeze of what's going on over here. What do we have over here? We've got, because uh, we kind of we kind of ignore this area, don't we? Uh, the other thing that we have ignored completely, you idiot, is here. Let's force early harvest on here and let's force early harvest on here as well. Uh, we did get those crops in late, so, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get, well, let's get five families in there for starters and working in there, which should be all right. Uh, we're doing pretty well on firewood, so we may actually get, um, uh, we may actually get, I think we've got a firewood cutter over here, woodcutter's lodge. They've got a little stall down here, so I really don't want to take them away from that. Uh, how are we going timber-wise? I think the sawmill, maybe. Let's take another family out of the sawmill. Throw those in there. Uh, leave one family floating. And I think over here we've got another woodcutter's lodge somewhere right there. I think we'll just leave those guys at it for now, I believe. 
All right, cool. Lovely. Now we're doing at the Weaver's Workshop. We've got nothing inside. We've got no people there anyway. Dyer's Workshop, we don't have any people either, but we kind of <coughs> don't need to. Uh, our level 3 Burgage Plots don't have any stuff. We've got no armaments or any, anything like that, so <coughs> we could increase that and increase our population here just a little bit. At the moment, I'm a little bit reluctant to do that because we I don't feel like we need to. So everybody's out here starting to harvest now, which is really good. All right, perfect. There you go. I keep saying perfect, but I don't mean perfect. We're up to seven food over here. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. If we can just get this priority up to 50%, this uh, happiness up to 50%, we can start getting more people in. Okay, we've got a lot of fields to go. We're still in October, but we've got a lot of fields to go. And I'm kind of surprised that everybody's just... Well, I guess they're still collecting stuff, aren't they? Which means we're going to have a lot of storage in here, aren't we? Yeah, everything's going into there at the moment, so... Hmm. I would much, I would much prefer to have them out uh, out doing these fields. Zero ploughing progress happening there. Uh, I think we really needed we really did need this to be full before. Uh, before <laughs> look at them all go. Well, this is completely and utterly inefficient, peasants. Completely and utterly inefficient. Somebody started ploughing in here. Looks like they have. Not necessarily. They're going somewhere else. I think that person there might be going, coming to plough, perhaps. I don't know. All right, everybody moving. Now they're mass migrating. Where are they mass migrating to now? They're a crack up. Funny peasants, they've got a seed. We've got to get the seed in as well. Okay, cool. Beautiful. I think uh I think we're getting there. we I mean we we're getting there. We are getting there. Look at that spread out video. I'm, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about this city to be honest. It's not it's not really the best looking city in the uh in the world. Uh, I'm thinking that this or, or town, not city. I'm thinking that this one is still my, my... I know, I keep coming back here every single... To this view every single time um, I record an episode. And just uh, looking at it and being really, really happy with it. Cool. Lovely. What have we got happening here? Got some growth happening here, which is really good. We need some gambesons coming in here. We need some gambesons coming in there as well. Which was one of the things that we were working at. So... Um, it's taken everybody a long time to walk across here, isn't it? Ah, uh, they're getting out and sewing. Beautiful. It'd be nice if um, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's 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 either way, isn't it? Gonna be say it'd be nice if some of them could come out here and start plowing by hand, but um, I don't know. It is what it is, and it is getting there. And why are you sitting over here doing nothing, sunshine? Because <clears throat> here comes your guy with the plough. Perfect. Right. Are people moving stuff? Is stuff getting moved? That's the other question. Got so much stuff in there that needs so many... Uh, so, so much in the way of logistics and stuff as well. Food's starting to go pretty good in here as well. We're starting to sort of stock up a bit there. Vegemite's looking a little bit funny. But these guys are probably looking pretty good now too. And we've hit 50%, which means we are going to... We're going to get somebody in at the end of this month. Which means we'll be able to add somebody to this burgage plot to start making veggies, I guess. Or at least they'll move in there anyway. It was saving. I thought we had a crash there for a minute. 
This is kind of a waste of time, I think. So we don't have any money to purchase anything. That's the issue. We don't have any money to purchase anything. We've been sitting there the whole time and all these people have been sitting here the whole time. Pack station workers. Bread for hides. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Um, problem is if they're stuck over there, I think it's a money thing. I think it might be a money thing because we don't have any finances here at all. Um, yeah. We don't have any finances at all over here. And that may be the reason why we've got all these people stuck. I mean, look, we've got... But all of the uh we've got all the pack station workers who have come to barter. Do we need an extra person in here, maybe? Is that an issue? Where are our families for here? Uh let's have a look. People. Uh throw you up there. Is that why? Is it because they're not coming in here? Are they going to start moving now? Are things going to start moving now that these people are here? I don't know. They seem to be st stuck trying to get into the door, don't they? You're transporting berries. You're transporting berries as well. Have we run out of hides here? We may have run out of hides. No, we've still got 43 hides in here, so... Hmm. Um, this person here, this person here is not moving and it's, she seems to be jamming stuff up. <coughs> I don't know how to fix that problem. I have no idea how to fix this problem. She's jammed right inside the donkey, or the horse. These people look like they're about to sing a Christmas carol. They're swaying side by side. They're turning. They're all in sync. But if they're not moving, we're not going to get any food. Not going to get any food. That's an issue. Um... That's a big issue. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I need to figure out, if you guys have seen that happen before, let me know. Let me know why you think that's happening. Is she glitched out? Is that what the issue is? Do we need to add more families to this? I don't know. Our approval's gone up to 55, 51%. But if you guys know, please let me know. That would be absolutely awesome. I will see you all uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep your fingers crossed that, uh, that we do get all of these fields done. Looks like we might be okay. We might be okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.